Just been messing around with a bit more testing. Uh, you can see here, just a new style of gun. Um, <clears throat> I'm tr still trying to track down one of these fittings that's slightly shorter. Doesn't have such a, um, a big distance between here and the back here. I want a nice tight little bend here. Keep it real nice and close and just make it a, a nice usable little gun. But it's still very... Uh, very much smaller than the original ones. You can see there, there's my my other type. Uh, that's an unfinished one that I'm just working on at the moment. See, so obviously that's got to go in there as well. So gives you an idea just of the, the difference in lengths. So much shorter, a lot more compact, and also uh, I'm working on them so that this fitting can either go on this side or this side, so you can have your nozzle coming straight through and then uh, your slurry coming in. From this side as well, so both your nozzle, uh, both your hoses come out the back, rather than this style here, the original style. One comes out, one comes out at an angle, just to give it a little bit more variety um, for the smaller cabinets out there, um, like the the dishwasher builds. So by changing the the configuration there, um, the idea is to try and make it a whole lot smaller. But um, while I was messing around, there are a whole bunch of my fittings boxes. I stumbled across this. Um, and from what I can tell, it's actually the lower part of a pressure relief valve for a hot water cylinder. Um, brand there is, turn around, Apex. And I just wanted to give it a go, uh, mainly because uh, when I had a look at it, it had this um, adapter there. Um, so you see, you've got three quarter inch there, and then you've got a half inch there. Well, I thought it would be perfect to machine that out. Put that nozzle straight in there like that and then i can even machine this out as well instead of using a crox nut machine that back and then that can become the retainer to hold that on and then just sort of trim that out should be enough to get a hose on there i just want to mess around and see whether or not i can make it work um, just with the the tuning um, messing around with more types of bodies and that sort of thing it gives me a better idea on um, on how the, the tuning, like the difference, uh, the gaps between uh, the ceramic tips and then your air jet size and um, just different tolerances. Um, the, the different bodies that I uh, use it on, um, the better an idea that it gives me on um, whether or not my assumptions are correct. So um, just a bit of a fun one. Um, so I'll jump into that in a second, but just a bit of an update on what I've been doing. These are my new cabinets here. Oh, it's not focusing very well. Um, all made out of stainless. Um, some decent mesh in there. Something a little bit nice. I mean, those cabinets there are pretty horrible. Um, that one there is going to get an upgrade. So I've got four of these to build. Um, and then I've got a larger one to build as well. So uh, that's why I haven't been putting out that many videos. So I've been um, trying to knock out as many of these as fast as possible. Uh, there's still a lot to go on that. Um, once all the framing goes in properly, that'll be out a little bit better so looks like a little bit of a mess at the moment but I think that'll come up quite nicely when it's done um, so there's a nice big vent in the side there it'll have a, a blower in there try and keep the mist out get a wiper and all that sort of stuff all the good stuff going there so um, hopefully before too long that'll be ready to go I'm hoping to have that finished next week and be started on the next one so uh, anyway I'll jump back into this nozzle and we'll see how we go Machined up, fits in there like that, fits on nicely, screws in, just like that, and then we've got air jet, just goes in the back there like that, just pick it up, a hard to do with one hand, there we go. So all I've got to do next, I'll just go through and I'll just give that a very light trim um, so I can get a hose on there and then um, I'll give it a test, see if it works or not. So there we go. Uh, there's the 
other nozzle that I'll start supplying. Um, test it up quite nicely. So uh, if anyone wants that style of, uh, of nozzle, I can start doing that from next week. I'm still catching up on my backlog. Um, the cabinets have taken up a lot of my time, so uh, as the parts have been um, slowly drizzling in, um, I've just been knocking a few of them out, and I'm just about caught up. So um, hopefully within probably the next week or so, I'll be completely caught up. Um, yeah, just take a few minutes for this video here. Um, as you can see, that there is the nozzle you get off eBay. You see them on a lot of the VHT cabinets. People usually upgrade them for the Tacoma gun. And then this is this little new one. So um, no idea if it's going to work or not. The chamber might be too small, but um, I'll put it on and see if it works. So we're back in the dishwasher cabinet. As you can see, if that nozzle on, you'll see a little bit better when I put my hand in. Um, and I've got just a couple of things here to blast. So um, I'm going to be working uh, one-handed with the uh, flat screen on the um, dishwasher vapor blaster here. It's just very difficult to um, to have this held. I'll set up a, a tripod at some stage, but um, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to run it like this. So um, I'll just quickly turn that on and we'll test out, see whether I can make this little one work. There we go. Just wash back some of the media that sit on the sides here. Sure there's plenty in the bucket. If you've got any flat spaces inside your cabinet, just routinely give it a bit of a wash down just to make sure the majority of the media is in the bucket. Alright, so here we go. This shot there. Plenty of meteor in there, it's messed up a little bit, but see through the side. Yeah, it's coming up alright. We can see obviously that there's a big mess, this will be the test, but a lot easier to see. So let's see how that one goes. Sorry about this, I will put a wash uh, windscreen wiper on this very shortly. Uh, but it's just a little further down the list of priorities. It's coming up a lot better. Um, I'll finish that. I can put uh, both hands in there. It's just too hard to deal like this. Um, and the footage isn't that great anyway. So I'll finish it off and then I'll come back and I'll show the result. So there we have it. Let's see. The last bit I didn't hit. It's not focusing very well. A little bit of flash rust coming through there. But that's what it was like before. And try and get that to focus a little better. That's it. There is what it came out like. That was like what it was before. See on the other side, it was all nasty and corroded. So you can see there's a little bit of a tinge on there where the flash rust has started. It took me a little while to find my air blower so I could give it a clean off. Um, but that's that done. I'll do the rest of it later. I just wanted a comparison because I didn't have a very good uh, shot of it before. Um, so yeah, there was that, and I just did the very edge of that. Looked kind of like that there. And that's what it's like now. 
So it does work. It needs a little bit more of a tuning, but it was just that tiny little fitting from a, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a, a pressure relief valve for a hot water cylinder. Um, so I just uh, machined off the rest of the thread on the adapter, and then I used that to clamp down on the nozzle. That's still only a 7mm nozzle. I'll upgrade that. I'll go up to a to an 8mm later. But you're just cutting out that little strengthening rib, the half inch hose seems to slip straight on and then I just made the rest of it just the same as the others so um, that's now five different types of guns I've worked out There's this is the, sorry I didn't work out all five of them, that's an original one this was the one that I rebuilt uh, there's that one there, it was just made out of a, a wing back fitting wing back tap fitting and that goes to a plastic valve, a uh, plastic uh, hose sorry and um, the butylene over here or butyline. line um, I don't know what the equivalent is overseas uh, same sort of thing here this is the new one I uh, get both the hoses working in the same direction uh, I'm still trying to find fittings that are a little closer just to make them a little bit more narrow because it's still a little cumbersome it was still comfortable enough to hold so um, that's quite comfortable that one again that was tested on a 7mm nozzle I'll draw some out and I'll do some more testing on it but um, seems to work quite nicely and again that one there can be changed to have a uh, straight fitting into the inside of it and then have you 90 here so both the hoses come out in the same direction um, so I can I'll put that together later in the week um, try that out but yeah I'm very happy with that little one um, that chamber did turn out to be large enough if you're going to a really big system then I'd say probably not um, but for just a small thing like a vapor blaster build or um, converting one of the really small cabinets um, the SBC 90 I think they're called and then that'll do the trick um, so yeah just a, a little bit of a, a break from um, what else I'm doing a little bit of a break from catching up on the nozzles I thought I'd spend half an hour and throw this video together um, but yeah, the rest of the week I'll be back onto this. This one should be finished by Wednesday. All going well, and I'm straight into the next one. Like I say, I've got five of these to build. I'll keep two for myself. Um, the other two have been sold or a pending sale. Um, and then there's a large one. These were really also a bit of a prototyping mission to make sure that the large one's going to work. Um, and it looks like it's going to do everything that I want it to. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. Happy with these. Uh, with the mesh, they're nice and strong. Um, there's no sharp edges on it. I found aluminium quite often when you're blasting it, you're rolling it around on, on the cabinet surface and it scratches up quite easily. So hopefully that solves it. If not, we can always put in some rubber matting on top of that as well. Um, but as for the performance of this little adapted nozzle, seems to work really, really well. So again, that's just applying the same principles that I've worked out um, over the last couple of years in building these things. Um, and a lot of those principles can be found uh, in either of my books, the uh, Vapor Blasting in the Home Shop or the Nozzle Build Guide. Um, just a cheap little guide, but all the principles that are used to build these are what I've then adapted to build this, this, and also this one here. Um, so yeah, nice simple little setups. You can make them out of pretty much whatever you've got around by the looks of things. Um, and I'm just going to continue to, each time I see something like that, I'll, um, if I've got half an hour or so, I'll chuck it in and see whether I can uh, make something work. So yeah, thanks for watching.